We're headed to Epcot this morning. A lot of buses next to me. Excited? Yeah. Here we go, we're on our way to Epcot. Look at those pretty ears. And we're gonna ride the sea, the seas with me both friends. Oh, is that your plan? Right. Well, it, we are riding it, right? Yeah, that's right, we are. I mean, I don't even know any other ride, but I don't even know these two. Uh, we woke up so early in the morning. Oh, uh, you think this is early in the morning? It's really early. I was trying to... All those people going to... I'm going to sleep, so I woke up because these two guys, my parents, were awake. And these two and guys, And then they told me to went to this back to sleep, oh, so I went back to sleep. In like one minute, in like one minute later, they told me to wake up and get my clothes on. Uh, one minute. Okay. So we're going to finish this up. I'll probably be waiting at Epcot for a while. In Epcot. Bye. Bye. Okay, right now we're taking a rest on a bench. I don't want and to. We're wait you don't want to take a rest on the bench? No. No, we're waiting for our time to go and hit test track. You excited for test track? Tell me what you're going to do. What are you going to do during test track? Build a car. You're going to build a car? And then you're going to ride in that car? All right, ready to go yeah, fast? I'm going to drive it. You're going to drive it. We're taking a break. Uh, I think Mama went into the shop here, so let's see what she comes out with. Groovy, man. No. Okay. 
video. Look, there's his face. You see it? Yeah. There it is. Where are you going, buddy? Close enough. Supercalifragilisticexpialidocious. Okay, we are heading back to Epcot. We're gonna try it again, and we're gonna eat something this time. Meat. Get yeah, some food in our bellies, and check out some more of World Showcase. Por su seguridad, permanezca sentado con sus manos y brazos, pies y piernas dentro del parque y cuida los pequeñitos. A manera Of all the forces that work on the land, humans have had one of the most profound effects. The need to produce food for a growing world led to the enormous use and sometimes overuse of the land. In our search for more efficient ways to grow food, we often fail to realize the impact of our methods. Welcome to our living laboratory, where scientists from Epcot and the U.S. Department of Agriculture are exploring innovative ways to produce bountiful harvests, now and into the future. The tropics are home to the greatest diversity of plants on the planet. 
Many of these, like papaya, bananas, cacao, coffee, and rice, are well known around the world. These are just a few of the edible plants that have been an important source of nutrition for people living in the tropics. Many are rich in vitamins and minerals, while others are well adapted to growing in less than ideal conditions. Some, like the water lily, thrive in wet, swampy areas and waterways. All parts of this plant, even the flower petals, are edible. The starchy root of the plant has long been used to make flour for baking. One day, many of these lesser-known tropical plants may be as important as the bananas growing on both sides of the boat. More than 28 million tons of bananas are eaten annually, making it the most popular fruit in the world. Tilapia, bass, and catfish, like the ones you see here, are three of the more popular crops raised by fish farmers. The sustainable system we're using here recycles the water in the tanks. As a result, we're able Something to save millions of gallons each year. Our small fish farm produces nearly 5,000 pounds of fish each year to serve in restaurants around Walt Disney World. While there are more than 50,000 edible plant species in the world, most of us are only familiar with the handful that make up our everyday diet. The common grains growing here, wheat, maize, sorghum, and millet, plus rice, account for nearly two-thirds of our global food consumption. These plants are definitely on their way up. Innovative growing techniques like these increase yields while more efficiently using resources like water, fertilizer, and pesticides. Another innovation at work here is our integrated pest management program. By populating our greenhouses with beneficial insects that prey on harmful pests like aphids and flies, we are significantly reducing our reliance on conventional pesticides. We're growing these crops using our nutrient film system. This technique precisely controls and recycles water and nutrients. With it, we can produce over 27,000 heads of lettuce a year in this one small area. Some of our best ideas have yeah, been inspired by nature like these fruit and vegetable trees. By growing these ground plants vertically, we can increase yields and better control diseases. These crops taste as good as they look. In fact, we serve more than 15 tons of produce from our greenhouses and restaurants here at the land every year. Oh, there's a strawberry. Peppers. The aquaponics system on your left combines hydroponics with aquaculture. The fish provide a natural source of fertilizer for the plants, and the plants help keep the water clean for the fish. It's another great way to produce more while using less.
of all y'all blowing your candles out at the same time. Ready? Blow your candles out at the same time. Oh, you're, you're, okay, blow it. Okay. 